Morning Reefers, I'm Daniel from Corvalus, and today we're doing a little maintenance on our Griffin saw. We use it quite often, so we recently had one of the rubber bands on the guides mill, and this is how you replace it. So we got a kit from Griffin, and it comes with all the maintenance parts that typically wear out. So a few of the things are these rubber bands that hold your diamond blade in place. Um, I'm going to go through and basically give you a little quick update on the maintenance. These are guide plates for the blade, and as you can see, they have a groove cut in for the blade. Now over time, from twisting and moving and cutting, you will wear these out and you'll widen them to the point where the blades no longer run in smoothly in the guide. So, and also, these sponges wear out. These sponges, you're supposed to soak them in your tank's water, and they help rinse the blade and keep debris off your corals as you're cutting them. So these come in very handy, but they wear out very fast. So all you need to replace them is a dollar store sponge. You can pick this up, just get a pair of scissors, and simply cut yourself a replica size. It's very simple to do. Just make sure you put, if you're using a scrub brush with a Brillo pad, um, face this away from the blade. You don't want to add extra wear on it uh, unnecessarily. So you take that, and that will slide in place behind there. There's also one more of these underneath. And you can see there's another guide here. Um, my guide is pretty worn. Um, so I'll be replacing that today along with the rubber band for the wheel. So to replace the rubber band we're going to have to take the blade off. So to take the blade off you lift the back of the saw up and you easily pop that off. So you take the weight off the blade and it comes off. So put this aside. Just remember when you're putting it back together that the diamond edge is facing forward. Um, it's very easily to put on backwards and it'll cut into your grooves instead of cutting your coral. So, now you can see this is the Griffin kit. They give you some new bearings to help keep this thing stiff. You get an upper guide and a lower guide. And you get two rubber bands. Now there's a larger one for the bottom but you can easily see the difference when you stretch them out. That one is shorter. Take the shorter one, and now before you put it on, you want to clean off any old debris on here. So you can take your old sponge, just wet it with some water, and thoroughly clean this. You really don't want to get any debris or anything underneath this before um, you put that rubber band on there. Because you're just going to trap that dirt in there, and it's going to make your blade wobble. So that's pretty clean. I tend to rinse my saw out every single time after I use it, just so I don't have any buildup on there. So, they say in the instructions to give it a few stretches. And actually, they tell you to stretch it out. Double this, and they say it won't break. Um, if you don't stretch it first, you can't get it on. Now, they recommend when you do this to take off the wheel. Now, since I already replaced my bearings and they're good, I don't want to take the wheel off. So I'm going to make myself struggle just a little bit. But if you're having too much trouble, make sure you take an Allen key, loosen this nut, and pull this whole thing off. And it's so much easier to put this on with the wheel off. But <laughs> um, just due to time and stuff, I'm just going to try to try to do it without. But if I have too much trouble, I will do it the correct way.
One of the things that I like to do after I put the rubber band on is I take a little stick and you stick it in between the rubber band and sometimes when you stretch it around you get an area of high tension on the rubber band. So if you slip this underneath and you spin it around the rubber band, it'll help even out that tension and hopefully later on keep it from wearing aggressively and breaking faster than it should. All right, now we got that rubber band back on the wheel and we're ready to take out the guides. So you're gonna need a pair of pliers for this or a screwdriver. I'm gonna try it with these and see how easily it comes out first. Not too bad. Came out pretty easy. things are in there really really tight they were really stuck in there hard so it took a little extra effort to pull them out but these are the new uh, guides um, they only go in one way so make sure that you're facing the guide towards the front your old sponge comes in handy again just clean out the guide before you put in the new one. There tends to get a lot of rock residue. Um, when you cut these corals, they turn into cement. Uh, that's one reason why I rinse this machine down after each use. And also, this top guide comes off for added clearance uh, if you need extra clearance. We'll rinse it off on the sink. You want to force it into this groove and press it into place. And there you go. All right, so we put on our new guide for the top wheel, the rubber band, and we put in two new blade guides to keep the guide, the blade running straight, and we also cut two new sponges. So. Slide this one in the bottom. And check the blade. The side with the diamond on it will be facing forward. turn on the blade, put everything back, put some water in and test and see if it's running true. It may need a little adjustment, but the blade should go be pushed back against the guides. If it's running correctly, it will not fall forward. So. So these are the pieces that we replaced. We exchanged the old guides for the blade, changed the top mounting rubber band, which kind of soothes and helps keep the blade riding in place, and these sponges that help clean the blade. So we got rid of these. These are replaced. 
Um, saw is running good as new. Blade's not jumping around as much as it used to. And as soon as we put a little tension on that, it'll stay nice and straight up against the guides. So there you go. Make sure you service your Griffin. The cleaner and better you keep your equipment, the longer it'll last you. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy reefing. Until next time.